Welcome to Mornings with Mindy. Today we're looking at another type of shorebird. Down here, see if I can get a close look at these guys. They're a little bit shy. These birds here are called the American Oyster Catcher. You'll notice um, they have a very black and white body, they have a black head, and their most distinguishing feature is that big orange beak. Their beak is pretty long and it's very powerful and it's bright orange. <laughs> Um, and what these guys do is, as you can see, they kind of walk around here in this intertidal zone and they use those long beaks typically to eat any type of a bivalve, like, like an oyster or a clam or a mussel, something like that. And what they'll do is they'll wait for those um, organisms to have their shells kind of open as they're feeding when the waves come in. And then they'll jam that beak down in and try to catch them and pull them out of the shell before they close that shell back up again. Um, the one danger to doing it this way is um, if you've ever you know, kind of played with a live clam or anything, when they clamp down those two shells, they really, really get a good grip. And what can happen with these birds is if they stick that beak in and they don't pull out quick enough, um, the shells will actually, the clams or whatnot, will close their shell on their beak. And they're not gonna, they're not gonna open up again because they don't want to get eaten. And what can happen is these birds can actually get stuck kind of in this intertidal zone with their beak stuck down in the sand and uh, they actually can drown if they're not able to get their beak back out. So it is a little bit of a dangerous life. There they go. But they seem to know what they're doing today. So that is the American Oyster Catcher. Not to be confused with the Oyster Cracker, which is a type of fish. And over here we have a whole bunch of black back galls chilling. Have a wonderful day.